Hello everybody and happy Labor Day to you. I'm forecast for Dustin Staples on a Monday wishing you a good start to the week as we go towards the upcoming week. Could be cooler 90s yesterday. Probably the last time we'll see these for a little while. Anyway, I will say that we got some different weather pattern that is beginning to develop across much of eastern uh, Carolina as well. So again, those who really crave these 90 degree summer like days, we got to put those up in a capsule for now. We may see them come back again as we go further out in the weeks to come. But again, watching for showers and storms today. Also, it's coastal showers this week and temperatures are going to come a little more seasonable out there as well. So again, if you're trying to make some plans over the next couple of days, very comfortable, but we're going to still see some humid weather still lingering around right there too. Back at four o'clock this morning, though, we're still had a few showers back towards the coast. Otherwise, we are starting to go quiet for now. We've had some rumbles of thunder yesterday. It kind of made it a lot more of a, those sleepy people who like the weather. This is good weather for you there. About two, three inches back out towards Washington Hyde and Terrell counties. A lot of that rain moving down towards 264. Seeing a lot of it move out right there too. All things to a cold front here. We still have a lot more of this to go through today. So unfortunately, we're not done with the rain. We'll have more as we go towards this afternoon. 70s right around 4 o'clock or so. But Labor Day forecast today. Scattered storms as we go towards this afternoon. And then we'll turn to developing scattered showers and as we go towards later in the evening hours as well. Real quick update on the tropics here. A couple of more disturbances we've been tracking for some time now. Both these systems have a 40% chance of developing here. This one outside the uh, Gulf of Mexico doesn't really have a high chance of development. So again, we got about a 10% chance for both the next uh, 48 to roughly seven days to go. So we'll keep you updated as we go further out in time. Winds are going to start coming in out of the north as we go towards this afternoon in the next several days. Rain showers will continue through about five, six o'clock tonight. We'll get a bit of a break with the exception of the coastal area. Still seeing those showers continue. Most Mostly coastal showers south of the outer banks of the Crystal Coast will persist through the first half of tomorrow morning, and then we all go quiet for a little while. Lows in the mid 60s, a little bit more tolerable, despite the fact that last week we had those 90s out there. Now and again, probably not seeing those for a little while. Rainfall amount about a quarter to roughly a half an inch of rain. Some of you may see some higher rainfall totals associated with it, but I think most will stay under an inch, which is some good news too. All right, feels like temperatures today will get close to the low 90s, but I think we'll stay out of the triple digit for a little while, and then tonight, tomorrow, going to the next several nights are matching to air temperature will kind of correlate with our air temperature. Thanks to that, we do have a slight dip in the humidity by mid to late week, and then we'll have another drastic drop by the weekend coming up. So that is where we're staying with that. All right, real quick here, coastal forecast, best chance of showers today. Then we turn breezy and windy as we go through the weekend there. And again, again we'll keep an eye on showers by this upcoming weekend. For now, just mostly keep the umbrella on standby for the next several days, watching for mostly coastal showers uh, for at least through Thursday. We got the eight in color festival happening this weekend right now. Of course, Grandparents Day is next Sunday. Looking nice so far, but again, temperatures will still be humid at times.